Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my time in medical school. I've been in medical school for about seven months now. Um, and there are definitely waves of high points and low points. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about those points. Um, I'm also gonna talk about how I manage my time. I'm gonna mention the top resources that are useful for me. Um, and I'm just gonna talk about my curriculum. Um, in general, so please watch the entirety of the video if you're looking for um, a, an overview of the life of a medical student um, and I hope that what you get from this video are things such as tips to manage time, tips for the research, top resources that I use and how they can be helpful for you, um, and I guess just a preview of medical school if you're currently applying or if you're already in medical school, maybe a comparison in curriculum or things of that nature. If you agree or disagree with the resources that I use or the way that I manage my time, don't be shy to comment below. It'll spark a great conversation and I think it'll be helpful for other viewers. Um, again, resources are very, um, they vary by individuals as to how efficient they are or how helpful they are. So again, these are the resources that work for me. And by no means am I saying that these are the only resources that you should have or the resources that you should use. It's just the ones that work for me. Um, and I have been doing well in medical school and um, for my NBME exams, I have been progressively increasing my score. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that later as to what I think is helping my score um, the most. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this video and if there's any questions that you have or any other videos that you would like for me to make. So to start off my curriculum, I talk about it a little bit in another video, but it was my first week of medical school. So I kind of just had what the orientation told me. Um, but now that I've been immersed for a while, for seven months, I can't believe it. Um, I know a little bit more about my curriculum. So the very first two weeks of school were uh, solely orientation and like wellness sessions and tips and tricks and um, a lot of panels, I think. Yeah, so it was very introductory. It wasn't like um, there was anything we had to study in particular, um, but it did have a grade component. We did have essays at the end of the course. Um, and that was such a long time ago that I, <laughs> I barely remember what the essays were about, but I do remember it was a positive experience, so that's a good thing. Um, after those two weeks, um, a course called Fundamentals began, and it was about 12 weeks, and that, my friends, was, to say the least, a difficult period of my life <laughs> because Fundamentals is an introductory course in which they, um, they introduced us to every discipline we're going to see in uh, medical school. So we talked about immunology, biochemistry, um, we had anatomy, physio. So it was like a very big overview. So it felt overwhelming because you literally had to learn everything because there was so much material that the test could cover. So you have to pick and choose what you thought was gonna be on the test. And sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't. For example, I remember during October, I had to learn the bacteria. And I went to Colorado the weekend that most of my classmates were studying bacteria. And I'm gonna be honest, I never really learned them, learned the bacteria to the best of my ability during that time. Uh, just because I did choose to go on a trip I don't regret it because I slowly learned the bacteria as time goes on. Um, so I guess what I would like to say about that or the lesson here is like, even though you're a medical student, you have to live your life. You have to learn what works for you, the balance that works for you. Um, because I'm telling you right now that if you don't implement self-care, if you don't implement um activities that bring you joy outside of education, um, you're going to burn out. I don't care who you are. I don't care how, like, I don't, I don't care. You need to implement little activities that 
um, bring joy into your life, whether that's spending time with family, friends, traveling, working out, whatever it is, you have to implement it. It is challenging to define that balance, to know what exactly is the breakdown of your, your hours in the day, or um, even on a week level, you have to play with that. And I think it also depends on the course you're in, because for example, as I mentioned, in fundamentals, in the very first um, third of the course, I was not working out, I was not eating healthy. I mean, I'm still not eating healthy, but we'll get to that. Um, I wasn't spending any time with friends and I felt horrible. So then the second, the second, or like the second, the, the middle part of fundamentals, I implemented the trip to Colorado. I started working out a little more often, like two, three days a week. Um, and I saw more friends. My grades did change, but I was happier. If that makes sense like I wasn't um, burnt out by the time the exam rolled around um, so yeah and then the third chunk of the course I've had a better balance so like my grades went up and I diminished a little bit of my social life but I didn't completely ignore it so yeah and then after fundamentals that's um, we had the course called HEME, the block he uh, for hematology, and that was four weeks. That after fundamentals was like a, br a breather. Um, and not because the material was easy, but it was just focused on one system. So it was definitely um, more manageable. Um, I did better in that course. I loved that course. I am looking at internal medicine right now, and I think HEME will be an option if I decide to go that route. Um, but yeah, so that was a short, sweet, fun course. After him was winter break in which I got COVID and my classmates got COVID because we decided to have a little holiday party and then Omicron was like, let me join. So I did have that little break um, of four weeks, which was nice from school, but I was sick, so I didn't catch up on school stuff i kind of just relaxed which was okay because i didn't need the mental break and it worked out and i spent time with my family um quarantined but with my family and then now after winter break we started a course called gyner so that's gi nutrition endocrine and reproduction so i am currently starting the last chunk of the course which is reproduction um and so far i'm liking it Endocrinology <laughs> is the most challenging part, but I did love GI, I like nutrition, I like repro, endocrine, we're working on that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now, um, curriculum, curriculum wise. So where I am in my personal life, well, I am still trying to manage my time. I am trying to work out at least four times a week now as opposed to like two or three. It's been working. I go with some friends to hold each other accountable. Last week I did like my second spinning class in my entire life. The first spinning class I did was years ago. I almost died. Not literally, but it was tough. And this time around it was also tough, but my friends were there and it was fun. So. I'll, I'll be I'll be trying to stay consistent with that and um, do it every Tuesday. Um, what else? So as I mentioned, I am not eating healthy. I'm trying to start eating healthy again. I don't remember the last time I had a vegetable or a fruit or something that wasn't processed. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but yeah, it's, it's challenging. You have to pick and choose. You know, when I have the option, I'll go ahead and have a fruit and vegetable. Um, hasn't come up, but I'm trying. Okay, at least I'm working out. I When I do go out, I try to order something. That's a lie. I, I, I try, but it, it fails. Like I do end up choosing like quesadillas or pizza, um, but it is what it is. I am happy. And I plan to incorporate veggies and fruits more into my diet um, because it does help with energy. I, I do see that I sleep a lot more often now because I don't eat healthy, which 
doesn't help the whole study situation, but we're working on it. And then another update is with my overactive bladder interstitial cystitis, whatever you want to call it, pelvic floor dysfunction thing. So I plan to make more videos under that playlist. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, but I did start pelvic floor therapy and if you want to know more about it, I'll make a separate video. But the gist is that it's helping and I'm so happy because I finally feel better from my symptoms and it's just good because I can focus on school now and it's like for a little bit there I was struggling but I'm finally feeling better um the married life is good easier than I thought easier than people like said it was gonna be there there are differences in the way we kind of live like Chris is more um or less detail oriented he'll he's happy he's okay with messes and he's okay with that I'm not so we but we're balancing and we're really trying to find what works for both like I'm so happy in that department so there's that friends I'm happy with that department too I get along with my classmates at least I think <laughs> at least I think they like me um but yeah so that, that's good too family I get to see them often I try to go to Miami whenever I can obviously not the weekend for an exam but I try so I can't come there's like Nothing I can complain about right now. Different from last week. Last Friday, I had my first mental breakdown in front of people and I cried in front of my classmates because it just got to be so overwhelming. Um, it wasn't because my grades are bad because they're good. It was, it was like things that were just happening at the same time, like scheduling issues with the preceptorship and then um, some like, side projects and research and all these things I had to do and I was behind on material and my dad got sick and then my white coat ceremony and then this and then that and it was just like a lot and I just felt like and and that week I stopped going to the gym so that's the aspect of self-care that can help with your emotions so for me working out is a great stress reliever I was very stressed that week so yeah that's what I'll say about that and then now for the resources that help me out. So I use a variety of resources. My lectures, like the lectures in my curriculum are not mandatory. I do go to lecture because I find some of them to be helpful. Some lectures are help, more helpful than others. I will say that. Some slides are better than others. I will say that. Um, I won't say who, but it's the truth. Um, but I do go to lecture just to keep a nice schedule going like to be on top of what i need to know for the exam um it's not it's like my second pass because i like to um study the night before for that lecture like familiarize myself with the topic then i'll go to lecture so it's like my second pass and then on the weekends i'll review um as my third pass and then right before the exam i'll review again so i like do like four um passes um, so the night before, I will use BNB, Boards and Beyond. Um, it's super helpful for me. I love the videos. Um, it has practice questions and I just think it's very helpful. Um, I used to use Amboss before the lecture, but now I don't anymore because of time. Um, and instead of using Amboss, I use USM the RX Bricks. So those are super concise, easy to read helpful, also has practice questions, has videos, flashcards, you name it. It goes along with First Aid, which is a book you must buy if you're a medical student. Um, yeah, so I'll use USMLRX and BMB the night before lecture. Then I'll go to lecture. And then on the weekends, I'll try to incorporate AMBOSS. I'll find the article um, pertinent to the topic discovered in all the lectures covered in the, in, throughout the week. So my weekend is like a review of the entire week. And then I'll use the first aid book. So in each board, board and beyond video, it has a list of pages for the topics covered in the first aid book. So I'll write those down during the week, accumulate them, and at the end of the weekend, I'll go through all those pages and just hone in on the things that I didn't really um, retain. So yeah. And then what else do I use? Anki. And all my most of my classmates use Anki. I really don't use Anki unless it's for anatomy, um, pharmacology, 
or microbiology. Yeah, that's it. I didn't really use Anki. Um, I want to because I feel like I, I, I'm forgetting things that I learned in other blocks, but um, that's a worry for dedicated time. So for independent study, whatever. Um, yeah, so lastly, I want to talk about Lecturio. I didn't mention it in my resources because I don't use Lecturio um, in the same manner that I use the other resources. So for the other resources, it's more to familiarize myself with the topic. Lecturio is like a replacement for textbooks because they assign a lot of readings and they're not doable. So Lecturio is the perfect resource to get the details that you need on the on topics that you need more um, depth uh, with. So for example, for Lecturio, I'll go down a playlist. Let's say I'm doing, um, I don't know, anatomy and histology of the male reproductive system. So I'll go to the playlist and I'll familiarize myself with the structures. They're so specific. And it really, it's a good, um, like before the test, like when I, when I use Lecturio, I feel like it helps me remember things better and more clearly because they go as, through through the uh, playlist with different lectures. So you get to pick and choose who you like. So I like the guy for um, Histo. I like different lectures are better than others again, but I feel like you can pick and choose. Some topics have multiple lectures for different topics. Um, there's textbook like so I'll there's a separate video that I have on Lecturia that I talk about it so go watch that one so you see how I use it but I, I do use it very often um, but I don't use it as split as I do with the BNB and all that like I don't go uh, to specific videos with Lecturia I'll go down the playlist if that makes sense so I can get the big picture um what else do I want to say I think that's about it um, if you have any questions about the details behind a typical day in my life, I do have a video on that. You can go and watch it. Um, it has changed. I will be honest. I'll try to have an updated video on a day in the life. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with where I am right now. And I'm, as a medical student, I'm thriving, I guess, because I am able to find my balance. And I think that's key to keep your mental health throughout the journey. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm excited to make more videos. I am in spring break starting now. So hopefully I'll finish that Colorado video that I've been promising and throw in some other videos there. So have a great rest of your day.